Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to play Prototype 2. If you're here, then you probably got the game and realized that it just doesn't work. You can either try starting it from the little shortcut that Steam usually likes to give you when you get a game, or you can try it from Steam, but either way, when you try and start up the game, you'll probably realize that it does something similar to this. Nothing. So, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix that. The reason that this is happening is when this game was being made for PC, the devs didn't think anyone would have a processor with anything above four cores. Well, that's great. So we're going to fix that. The first thing you can do is you can go to Device Manager and disable your HID compliant consumer control devices. This works for some people, this didn't work for me. The second thing you can always try is to go to the settings of the game in Steam, go to Properties, Local Files, and Verify Integrity of Game Files. This has also worked for some people, again, not me. For whatever reason, if you have hyper-threading enabled in your BIOS, Prototype 2 will just not work, so we're going to fix that. Make sure Steam is off. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a batch file. Open up a new file in a text document. And you're going to type start space slash affinity ff and then the location to your steam.exe file. This is going to tell Steam to open with the right number of cores for the game to be able to work. Then you're going to save this as whatever you want to name it, .bat. Make sure you keep this someplace that you can easily access it. The next thing you're going to do is create another batch file. You can call this one whatever you would like. And this is just going to start the prototype 2 shortcut wherever you have it saved. Just change this to the location that the shortcut is at. Finally, we're going to create one more batch file. And this is just going to tell the computer to start Steam, the batch file that you created earlier with the right number of cores, and to start the other batch file telling it to open the prototype game. Another way you can write this out would be like this. It really doesn't matter. The choice is yours. It does the same thing. Finally, we're going to go to properties and hide these two batch files. They're kind of eyesores and we don't need them anymore. So finally, open up the batch file you created. It's opening Steam. And now it should open up Prototype 2. Now let's see if it works. And there we have it. The only problem with this way of opening the game is whenever you leave, you'll have to exit Steam again. Otherwise, some of your games may not work properly because it is open and still working off of only four cores. And you have these things to exit out of. Other than that, I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments and I'll try and help you as best as I can. Anyways, thank you guys for watching.